Hey folks, we're going to be looking at um, level one algebra paper from 2013. This was the day two, question 1F. Uh, it was a simultaneous question, simultaneous equations question, and it looked like this. I'd actually press pause right now if I were you just to read the question, but if you've already read the question, uh, here we go. Let's go with the answer, right? So... What do we got? We've got Sophia and Riva. Uh, we've got, uh, got their hours. and Okay, let's just work this down. All right, first off, we have Sophia here. Now, she's getting paid $17 an hour, and she's worked for S number of hours. Then we have Riva. She is getting paid $13 an hour, and her number of hours that she works can be written as R. Now, altogether, they earned a total of $176. So in the first part of the question, it's actually asking us to write an equation showing the above information. So what we have is 17S, because $17 for Sophia's number of hours that she worked, plus 13R, that's actually $13 an hour uh, times R for the number of hours Rewa worked, and that equals 176 so this is the first equation in the set of simultaneous equations. The second set, which is actually in part two, so I just put a dollar sign there. The second um, equation is actually this part right here, where it says altogether they worked a total of 12 hours, which means the number of hours Sophia worked, which is S, plus the number of hours Rewa worked, which is R, equals 12. So, now that we have these two sets of um, equations, we can solve them simultaneously to figure out what S and R is. So, here's our two equations. Now, the first method that I want to use is substitution. I will show you guys how to do elimination method as well, but um, after this, in the next slide, I'll show you guys how to do elimination. So, we have S plus R equals 12. Then we can rewrite R in terms of S, so it'll be 12 minus S. Now going back to that first equation, we have 17s plus 13r equals 176. So remember that we actually rearranged r in terms of s, which means that pink r, we could actually replace it. So it'll be 17s plus 13, so instead of writing it as r, we're going to write 12 minus s. And that equals 176. So simplifying this, we're going to get well, actually expanding first out of those brackets, 13 times 12 would be 156, and then 13 times negative s would be negative 13s. And all this equals 176. So now we combine the like terms, which is 17s minus 13s would equal 4s plus 156 equals 176. Now we move the 156 to the other side. So we have 176 minus 156 and simplifying this we get 4s equals 20 and of course from this point s is equal to 20 divided by 4 which equals 5 so what this tells us is s is 5 or the number of hours Sophia worked is actually 5 so now what we can do is we can figure out how many hours Rewa worked because remember that r is equal to 12 minus s so this could be said, well, we know that since s equals 5, we can say r is equal to 12 minus 5, and that's equal to 7. So now we have s and r. But it's always a good idea just to go back to the question just to see what they asked. So this is the second part of the question. Remember, altogether they worked a total of 12 hours. Use algebra to show how many more hours Rewa worked than Sophia. So if you get up just up to this part, you haven't actually completed this question. So you've got to actually show how many more hours Riva worked than Sophia. I know it's a simple little thing, but you still got to do it. That's the whole point of this question. So if you actually said Riva worked for seven hours, and then Sophia worked for five hours, this is not enough. <laughs> we have to show how many more hours Riva worked than Sophia. So a small little statement saying Riva worked for two more hours 
than Sophia. So this is what is expected for this particular question to get an excellence. All right, I, I told you guys that I've, I've talked about um, substitution method here, but I'll have a look at elimination in the next slide, elimination method. You don't need to do both methods. You just need to do one method that's easy for you, right? So the elimination method. So with the elimination method, remember that we want to choose one element that we want to eliminate or one letter that we want to eliminate. So having a look at this, I'm going to eliminate S. So I'm going to multiply the second equation by 17. Everything inside that blue bracket has to be multiplied by 17. So 17 times S plus 17 times R and then 17 times 12. So simplifying this, I'm going to get 17S plus 17R which equals 204. So now I'm going to write both of the equations next to each other. There we go. And so now I want to subtract one of them from the other one. So if I do 17s minus 17s, that's obviously gotten rid of the s, so the s disappears. 17r minus 13r would give us 4r. And then 204 minus 176 is going to give us 28. So simplifying this, we're going to get r is equal to 28 divided by 4, or r is equal to 7. So this is the same as what we got in the previous version as well, or the, by substitution. So once we have Riva, who has worked for 7 hours, we can go back to a, one, of those, one of those, any one of those equations, but I'm going to pick the easiest one. So s plus r is equal to 12, and I know that r is equal to 7, so s plus 7 equals 12, and rearranging it, I get s is equal to 12 minus 7, which is 5. Once again, guys, um, leaving the answer here is not enough. So remember, just writing that final statement, which is Rewa worked for 7 hours, and then Sophia worked for 5 hours, which means Rewa worked for 2 more hours than Sophia. All right, guys, that's about it um, for this particular question. If you still are unsure about how to do this, uh, just post a question in the comments. Yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.